Awesome, folks. So this meeting is recording. Um, so if you don't want faces or names or something on that, that's fine. You're more than welcome to take it off. But if you're happy and you're willing to have it on, we'll get started because this is going to go on our PA YouTube page later on. Um, so that's great. So we will get started for real this time. I apologize for the, for the delay. Awesome. So again, welcome to Learning LinkedIn Learning. Um, a little bit of a roadmap for today. So we're going to start off with some introductions. Um, I'm going to introduce myself, introduce the peer advisors. Uh, we're going to talk about what the peer advisors are. Then we're going to go a little bit into what LinkedIn Learning actually is, how to access it, um, how to link into your own personal LinkedIn profile if you have one, um, how to use LinkedIn Learning, and then we'll go into final thoughts and any questions that folks might have. So we will get started. So who am I? So we'll start out with a little bit about me. Um, like I said, it's great to meet you all. My name is Ben Parsons. Uh, I'm a junior here at AU studying political science, um, and I'm a peer advisor here in the AU Career Center. So for those who don't know where the Career Center is, um, we're on the fifth floor in Butler Pavilion. Um, if you go in right near uh, where the AU store is and you go up to the fifth floor um, in the elevator, we're right there. You can't miss us. We're the only office on the floor. Uh, so that's where we are and where I am currently speaking to you from. And I'm one of the peer advisors. So a little bit about the peer advisors. So peer advisors, there are five peer advisors um, that are fellow students here at AU. Um, and our job is to help undergraduate students with career development and assist them in the job and internship search. So basically, right, you have career development post-college, but we also want you to be able to have some career uh, development while you're in college, right? Whether that is... Uh, going to an internship, whether that's learning some new skills, right? Hopefully LinkedIn Learning is going to teach you some new skills. We're going to go into that a little bit. So that's our job. Um, just to meet the team, because they're not here today. Um, this is our team. These are the four other peer advisors, Sydney, Caroline, Paroma, and Emma. Um, they're all great. They are all seniors um, in the class of 2022. They're all different majors, right? So Sydney is an SPA. She's a political science major. Uh, Caroline is SOC. I believe she's graphic design. Uh, Paroma is SIS, uh, and Emma is environmental science uh, and environmental studies. Um, so a little bit of diversity on our team, and, and we love, we encourage everyone to come, come join and stop by and talk with us a little bit. About the peer advisors, so we do, uh, our job is really a lot more on hand, or hands-on engagement on campus. Um, so this comes in the form of classroom presentations, drop-in office hours, and workshops. So obviously today what we're doing is we're doing a workshop on LinkedIn Learning, going to show you the ins and outs of it, how to connect um, your, your own LinkedIn account to your LinkedIn Learning account that's sponsored by AU. Uh, we also do drop-in office hours, so you're welcome to come up to the Career Center uh, Monday through Thursday, uh, anytime between 10 and 4, we always have someone in the office that's ready to help you. We also are available online. Um, we're happy to give you advice on your resumes or any cover letters, or even if you're applying to an internship or something like that, we're happy to help you through that process. Um, the only limitation is, is that we're only available for undergraduate students. So if you're an undergraduate student, please stop by and come visit us. Um, otherwise, we're unable to help you, uh, although we'd love to. We're, we're just not really equipped to do that. So that's a little bit about us. Then we also do classroom presentations. Some of you folks might uh, recognize the peer advisors in our program, but we've come through and done a lot of classroom presentations, just talking about what the Career Center is, um, and then some skills you can use, whether that's Handshake, whether that's LinkedIn Learning, um, or, or a whole bunch of other tools that we offer. And then this is just our contact information. So you can follow us on our Instagram, AUCCPAs. Um, it's a great account. We post a lot of great content. Very much encourage you all to give us a follow. Um, you can also uh, shoot us an email at aupeeradvisors at gmail.com, or you can check out our link tree. Um, it's just linktr.e slash AUCCPAs. Um, and we have all of our information on there. So now we'll move in a little bit more towards what this workshop is focused on. So we're going to be talking about what is LinkedIn Learning. So what it is and why you'll love it, why it's a great resource to you. So this is just a quote, right? Um, Malcolm X and a, and a lot of other leaders, right, have always said that education is important not only for you, but for society as a whole. And LinkedIn Learning, right, maybe it's not that education, but it will help you develop your skills um, and get you ready for, for future careers or future interests, that, all those kinds of things. 
And so a little bit about what LinkedIn Learning offers. So LinkedIn Learning teaches technolo technological skills, soft skills, and digital tools. So this might be, right, if you're working on learning how to use Microsoft Excel, that is something that uh, LinkedIn Learning can help you with. They can help you become a master in Microsoft Excel. Uh, it can teach you technological skills, right? Maybe you're interested in Adobe um, and, and you want to go into graphic design. That's great. LinkedIn Learning can teach you all about that and, and give you the skills and the resources needed in order to succeed. And then there's also soft skills, right? So interpersonal things. Maybe it's public speaking. Maybe it is uh, you want to work on your networking skills. LinkedIn Learning has a little bit that they can offer and teach you about that. So it's a really great resource. The other great thing about it is that it's led by a team of experts. So there are more than 13,000 individual videos on LinkedIn Learning. There's a ton of content and all of it is produced by experts in the field. So if that is networking, right, it might be a business leader that's talking to you. Some of the designers from Microsoft have helped teach people about Microsoft Excel. Um, others, right, have, have taught other, other types of skills, right? So it's a team of experts um, that really knows what they're talking about and then the, they're the best able um, the best people around to teach you something that you don't know already. Um, and then the other great thing about LinkedIn Learning is that you can put the certificates of things that you have completed on your LinkedIn profile, right? So some of us might have seen, uh, if you have going with the Microsoft Excel example, right? Let's say you have gone through the LinkedIn Learning course, you're excited, you know how to use it, you take a quiz at the end that shows, yeah, I do know how to use Microsoft Excel, you'll get a special certification that you can then put on your LinkedIn profile. File. And that's great because employers love to see that. Um, it makes them feel as though, right, they, they know that you're a reputable source um, and or they know LinkedIn is a reputable source when it comes to Microsoft Excel. So they know that you know what you're actually talking about, which is a great thing. And it helps you I mean, your application for whatever you're working for a little bit more. Uh, so how do you, you access your LinkedIn Learning account? So LinkedIn Learning is normally a feature that is only available for premium members and as you might know, you have to subscribe, um, and, and I think it's you, ha you have to pay a fee. Fortunately, through AU, through part of your tuition, uh, you have access to write all of the different technologies AU offers, including LinkedIn Learning. So this is free of cost. You don't have to pay for it. It's completely covered by AU. So we're going to go into how you can get into your LinkedIn Learning account that's provided through AU um, and learn a little bit more about that. So these are all the steps. We have the screenshots here. We're just going to work through the screenshots. Um, and if you ever have an issue, right, you're trying to work and get your LinkedIn Learning to work and you, you can't manage to access it after this presentation, you're always more than welcome to come contact us um, at the Career Center, right, at that AU uh, Peer Advisors Gmail account, and we're, we're happy to assist you in that process. But this is just a little bit of info about it. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to sign into your My AU portal, right, using your AU username and password, get all set. And you'll come to this screen, right, that I'm sure many of us have, have seen before, right? What you're then going to do is you're going to click on the technology uh, drop-down menu right here on the side. You can also do it up top, but it's a little bit easier if you do it here. And then scroll down and click LinkedIn Learning. It's right under Gmail, or you can request, like, uh, right, my email is mp8357a. I could get a change to ben.parson. So it's, it's right here under LinkedIn Learning. You just give it a nice click, and it'll redirect you to this page. So this is your sign-in page through your uh, organization, the organization that is actually sponsoring LinkedIn Learning. In this case, it's American University. Um, so you're just going to log in with your AU username and password. You're just going to exclude um, like the student.american.edu. You're just going to do at american.edu, right? So it's the letters of your name, the numbers at american.edu and sign in with your username and password, and then you're there, right? So now we're on our LinkedIn Learning page, and I actually will show you what my LinkedIn Learning page looks like. This is what my current LinkedIn Learning page looks like. Um, you know, a lot of different resources, things that I'm interested in. There's live office hours we could attend, right? So a whole bunch of that kind of stuff. Um, so this is what my page looks like. But going back to if you are actually, once you get to this page, right? Let's say you're here, if you access your LinkedIn Learning, that's great. You might have set up some of the goals that it will prompt you to do. We don't need to get into that. It's, it's very self-explanatory. There's a little video on LinkedIn Learning's page that will show you how to do it. But let's say you have this all set up and you're like, oh, hey, when I do pass this Microsoft Skills exam or when I do pass 
whatever learning course that you're learning, maybe it's Adobe, and you want that certificate on your own LinkedIn profile, you're gonna to wanna to connect it to your LinkedIn profile. So assuming you have one, you're gonna go up here under me and you're gonna click it and a drop down menu looking like this will occur. And you're gonna hit settings. So you're gonna to go to your settings and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And here it says connect your LinkedIn account or to your LinkedIn learning account provided by your organization. So here, right, I can connect my personal LinkedIn my through my personal email through the LinkedIn learning that AU uh, offers me. So you just hit connect my account and then you're gonna sign in to your personal LinkedIn account, right? So whatever your, your username and password are to set up your LinkedIn learning account, that's what you'll use. So you'll log in um, and it will automatically connect you, right? And so now we see, right, I have a nice smiling face, a picture of me. Uh, and, and that's how we know that my LinkedIn learning account is all set up. So finally, um, we've made it, we've accessed our LinkedIn learning account and it's joined with our account. Now we can go ahead and use it. And you can set up your goals, all, so, all sorts of things. And we'll get into that a little bit more. But now you should be able to set up your LinkedIn learning account and it should be connected to your personal profile. So that's great. So now let's just get into a little bit of how to use LinkedIn Learning. So when you first join LinkedIn Learning, one of the things that it will ask you is to set up your goals, right? So those goals might be, okay, how much do you want to study a week? Uh, how much do you want to learn a week? For me, I selected 30 minutes. As of when I made this presentation last week, I hadn't done any of, any of my learning. And that's fine. You know, sometimes you're not going to be able to do your learning. Sometimes you will. But you can set it up so you can do anywhere between 15 minutes and five hours a week. There's a lot of different things. Um, and then you can select topics that you're interested in learning about, right? So uh, I have money management here. Uh, uh, there's also networking that I'm interested in. So that's, you know, when I show you my account later on, you might see that. All sorts of different information. That's super helpful. And that will just be queued right when you join in. Um, and, and so that's how you actually set up that aspect of your LinkedIn learning account. But once you have it set up, right, then you want to know, okay, how can I use LinkedIn Learning effectively to help me in my career path, in my internship search, or in just developing my skills? And that's a great question. That's a super hard question. And so there's three big things that LinkedIn Learning can help you and better equip you and, and, and you can use it to your advantage, right? So those are the three listed here. There's professional development, personal interest, and then the LinkedIn Learning Certificate. So professional development, right? LinkedIn Learning can teach you the skills employers want you to have. And you don't have to go through the hassle and frustration of self-teaching, right? So I don't know about you folks. I have tried many a times to learn different technologies, learn different skills through online, whether that's Khan Academy, whether that's LinkedIn Learning, even Google Certificates has some stuff. And that's always, I find myself frustrated oftentimes because I don't understand it and the self-teaching isn't always there. LinkedIn Learning, has someone so it is a little bit of self-learning but it has an expert that is not only trained to teach you on the topic but is trained on the topic so you're learning from the best of the best and you can develop those skills that your employers want right maybe it's with the nace competencies uh, which are like skills that your employers are looking for today nace is just an organization for career development that sets out competencies every year of what uh, employers want and you can go through and google that and, and learn some of the skills but LinkedIn Learning will teach you those skills that your employer might want. So let's say potentially you are interested in an internship on Capitol Hill. They might want you to have experience with Microsoft Excel or IQ, which is a system they use. You could use LinkedIn Learning to learn those things. So those, that's one of the great things in terms of personal or professional development. When it comes to personal interest, maybe you're just interested. Maybe I don't know anything about graphic design. Maybe I want to learn more about graphic design. Maybe I want to learn how to use Photoshop, how to use Adobe. That's a personal interest. I don't want to invest a ton of money on it though, right? Some courses go for anywhere between $250 to $5,000 just to teach you how to use Photoshop and Adobe and all these different tools. You don't have to invest in that. You don't have to do that huge investment, but you can still do an investment in yourself in the form of time and energy working to learn that skill, right? So I'm, like I said, you know, I could go in on LinkedIn Learning's page, learn all about Adobe and learn how to be a graphic designer potentially, right? And so you can learn interests or you can find interests that you 
uh, may not have known or that you do know and they're on LinkedIn Learning. And you can learn how to do the skills associated with them. So not only you know, can you do that for professional development, but you can also do it for your own interests and, and make you better. And then, as I said, right, the LinkedIn Learning Certificate, that's awesome. Instead of having to take a quiz, right, without having any experience, and you might fail that quiz, you can go through, take a LinkedIn Learning course, and you'll get the certificate. And LinkedIn, which is such a reputable uh, and reliable career development platform, right, by putting that certificate on there, like I said, your employers know that you know, your empo the employers that are trying to hire you will know that you know your stuff. And that just gives you a leg up on everyone. And so that's another great advantage that LinkedIn Learning can offer you. And so those are three ways that once you have your LinkedIn Learning account set up and you're learning those skills, you can use it to your advantage to learn more and to advance yourself in your own career. So a quick example, Microsoft Excel, right? So I will go into my own LinkedIn Learning page and we can see there's a whole, whole bunch of skills here, right? I set up uh, that I wanna learn 30 minutes a week, right? So there's a whole bunch of things you can choose from. Or you can go up here and click browse. And there will be a whole bunch of different topics, right? There's business topics. There are uh, software, learning paths, a whole bunch of different things, right? Whether it's sales, marketing, professional development, leadership, a whole bunch of things. American University also offers special courses that they have curated. So some of the things, right? Uh, DEI learning pathways, so diversity, equity, inclusion, learning more about that and how it can best prepare you. Uh, salary and job offer negotiation, right? Once you get a job, uh, being able to negotiate what your responsibilities are, how much they'll pay you, how you can prepare for interviews, how you can effectively work remotely. I know I struggled with that at the beginning of the pandemic, um, and that, that was something I relied on. How you can work in groups. So all of these are things that AU has curated, and they can help you with. But let's stick with our Microsoft example. So all I have to do in the search bar is search Microsoft Excel and boom, it's the first thing that comes up and there's a whole bunch of courses on it, right? So there's the course, this is the learning path so you can master Microsoft Excel. So if I click on this, it'll bring us to the module. And there are 24 hours of content here, right? So all videos, quizzes, worksheets, all that kind of stuff. And once you do it all, right, you take your cert prep, all of that, you earn their certificate, and you can put it right on your LinkedIn Learning uh, profile. So all you would have to do is hit Start Learning Path. It'll redirect you. And it's, this is the first thing that you'll work on. So you'll hit here, and you will learn the essentials of LinkedIn Learning. Being efficient at Excel is cons uh, of Microsoft Excel, but we're not going to do that. But that, that is how you would use it. And that's just a slide of how to do it. And I've been talking a lot about like Adobe and Microsoft Excel, right? Those, those things in particular, just because those are things that I'm actually somewhat familiar with, right? But there are a ton of resources. There's over 13,000 videos on LinkedIn Learning. So there's something for everyone to learn, whether you think you know everything, whether you think you know nothing on a subject or on every subject, there's a whole bunch you can learn. And so that's why we really encourage you to use LinkedIn Learning. Um, and so that, that's our presentation for today, um, and or my, I guess, my presentation aspect of it. Now we'll get into any question and answers. Um, so if you have any questions that you don't want to say out loud, you can always contact us through our Instagram. You can send us a direct message, or you can shoot us an email. And this is just the slides that I made this presentation with. So with that, I'm going to stop sharing. Um, and if anyone has any questions, you're more than welcome to put it in the chat. Um, or you can just voice them out and, and we can go over it together. And feel free to raise your hand or something if, if that works best for you. Um, where did you say your office was for uh, meeting with peer advisors? Yep, absolutely. So we're right in the Career Center. Um, so if you go into uh, where, where like the school store is, right, there's an elevator right next to it on the floor above the bridge. And you can take the elevator straight up to the fifth floor. If you know the stairwell between MGC and Butler, you can take it up the second flight of stairs and it will put you on Butler 4. 
and then you can go up a small flight of stairs, go on Butler 5. We're right there. There's a big sign that says Career Center, and that's where we are. You can't miss it. So if you just go in, the easiest way is just go into Butler, where the store is, and take the elevator up to the fifth floor. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Well, Thank welcome. you very much. You're welcome.